And then Home Alone 4 yes. is... I, don't, is that, don't, that, whatever you're going to say, just don't. They don't know anything. Do not well, say I, I don't. I don't. I actually don't. Blind. I actually just straight up don't know. I feel like I've yeah, seen because it. no one never no. seen the damn thing. No, I've never seen Home Alone Four. Well, today is a great opportunity for you to change that. Yeah, Brooks, you'll notice that everyone who owns the box set of the first four Home Alone movies, one of the movies is significantly more dusty than the other three. It's on Disney uh, Plus. We're it's on Disney. Yeah, I'll be fine. Fair enough. Someone actually using Disney Plus? What a concept! Hey, really I got a, I got a access to a, the uh, Home Alone four. Right. There's a five and a six, yo! What the? Oh, fuck? you have no idea how much Jeez. five and six there are, dude. I can oh, already no. see number five or six, and it looks freaking terrifying. Which yeah. one, five or six? <laughs> Which one looks terrifying, bro? It's tough being nine. All of them. Tougher still is spending Christmas. Dad. Which one's terrifying? Yes. Girlfriend Natalie's man. Stop. Even though it's loaded with all the techno. Remember gadgets. that thing I said about not t talking about what Home Alone Four <laughs> yeah. is gonna be about. I mean, to be fair, we've we've bro, we've, we've learned that Brooke bad. does not have a good memory. Dude, I, I, bro, bro, everyone. I assumed everyone would. Just he can't listen. <laughs> it's funny you say that, Avert, because Brooks went to a summer camp specifically designed to help improve his memory. Dude, and the funny thing is um, that I was the best one. There. He got scammed. Actually, no, the second best one there and i didn't put any effort in. but i just spent the whole time making more hammer lists oh, right. so this is the one this is the one with the spaceships and the lasers right? oh please don't tell me anything i want i want uh, to figure yeah, it out uh, for myself uh, thanks uh, i'll just assume he's joking yeah, yeah. This is the one if you just assume exactly. anything is joking then yeah and darth respond. vader and then he uh he invades the house yeah yeah dude that moment when they're when like darth vader shows up and he's like i'm gonna get you kevin and he's like no no and then he starts booby trap in the moon. For a second, I thought you were gonna make a Morgan time joke. Yeah, he says it's home alone in time. He really home alone's all over the place. There you go. Dude, I think home doesn't alone really have a good Bruce answer. Six is like the drug trip that the actor went on. Yeah, so no. it was like a goddamn fever dream. Yeah, no, no, no yeah. <laughs> the entirety of Home Alone, the entirety of Home Alone three through six was all hallucinated by Macaulay Culkin when he was on drugs. Well, I mean, Home Alone three was significantly better than we were expecting it to be. So it wasn't horrible. It was, it was like when I was a kid. When I it was wasn't a kid, horrible. I it was hilarious, bro. So yeah, it's some. We had a very pleasant time watching it yesterday. It was a blast. Welcome back brooks you missed out on the third one but you've rejoined us again for the fourth one i'm only here for the good ones let me just double check yeah the home alone 4 has a 2.6 out of 10 on imdb <laughs> I think it was supposed to be a 6.2 but they accidentally flipped the numbers here wait what was the reading 2.6 out of 10. Yeah, no, it got review bombed by Harry and Marv. I mean, who can blame them? They are not in this movie, so it's not big fiction. Oh, I wouldn't be so confident in yourself, OJ. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. So this one was a TV movie. Yeah, this time the video in your inbox isn't exactly uh, the one you were wanting to look at. Are there any fans of this? Like, I, I know that Home Alone 3 has its fans, including us now. But does anyone? Oh, yeah, you can... Does anyone? <laughs> you can tell the holiday season is rapidly approaching by us watching Home Alone 4 now. We're getting into the good shit here. One and two in one video, then the next video is three, then the next video is four. You'll notice that the quality is quickly declining here. Yeah, so as with the, was the case with Home Alone 3, I don't remember much of this one. I know the vague, the general tent poles of the story, and I know that I only watched it once as a kid. And then I never revisited it again after that point. But I thought the same for Home Alone 3, and we ended up actually enjoying it. So maybe there's a Trevor, stop getting your hopes up. There's no Christmas miracle going to happen here, all right? This movie isn't going to be some fucking masterpiece out of nowhere. No, this movie will be literal shit through and through. There's no, it, well, maybe I'll, I won't gouge my eyeballs out. No, it'll be funny. Yes, I'm not denying that. It will be, you will do the ha-has, but you will also do the stabbing out your eyeballs one by one. So, Brox, anything you'd like to say about Home Alone 4? Yo, as long as people get hurt, it's funny. What? Okay, Brooks. Right. Hey, Brooks. No, no, no. Put that, Bro Brooks. Put the gun away. Okay, Brooks. Hold up. No, 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 no. Don't. Put no, the no, safety no, put it down. on. Come on. Still, do not recommend. What are you doing with that extremely sharp, huge candy cane? <laughs> yeah. Did you ever do that as a kid? Like suck on the candy cane until it's really sharp. <laughs> I don't think I've ever... Okay, Brooks. Next, Brooks is going to be like, have you ever sharpened your pencil until it turns into a, like a huge knife and then tested it on someone? Am I the only one? I don't know that I ever actually ate a full candy cane. 
at any point in my life. Really? Trevor hasn't eaten anything. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you couldn't get past the wrapping. It was so annoying. The wrapping is like the final boss of candy. Yeah, dude, me as a kid, man, I had to like break it in half and then like tear off the plastic with my teeth. And then like I would start eating the candy cane and there'd be little pieces of plastic on it still somehow. Brooks, uh, horrible. have you ever heard of uh, a pair of scissors? You see, me as a kid could not be trusted with that. You as an adult cannot be trusted with it. Instructions unclear. There is now a hole in someone's hand. <laughs> hey, hey, if, if, if I got cooking lessons in the school for people with, that are blind and blind people got, got to handle a knife in class, then holding scissors is fine. That's different because you see, anyone can cook. Except the directors of Home Alone 4. They can't cook. Let's find out what exactly they cooked up, shall we? Oh yeah. no, I don't want to. I do not want to eat the fucking dubious food from Breath of the Wild. No, thank you. The faster we do this, the faster I can go back to Sonic Frontiers. Everyone ready to play? Yep. I don't know if I'm mentally ready, but sure. <laughs> no, none of us are mentally prepared. There's no seatbelts. Three, two, one. Go. Jumping right into it. Oh, 3D. Uh. Whoa, dude, in 3D. What? No, no, no. It must be 4D. This smell. Mommy, bust turn off the music. No problem. Dude, what is this? A sitcom? Buzz. <laughs> oh, God. Buzz. Buzz. Yeah, does that name sound familiar to anybody? Mm. What name? <laughs> I said it like 20 times. This movie's already destroying Brooke's brain. I wonder if OJ will. Well, surely, like, even for OJ, it, it still would be noticeable. Kevin! Kevin. Where is Kevin? Yo, yeah, where is he? I still haven't seen him. Also, who are any of these people? These are the McAllisters! That's a very funny joke. <laughs> well, like, actually, where are the, where, where are the, uh, the McAllisters? Alright, alright. Store brand Kevin from Great Value. I need you to tell me where you put the real Kevin here. What did you do with him? Oh, what God. Look how they massacred my boy. Alright, quick. Trevor, to IMDb, what did Rod Daniel direct? Uh, <laughs> Let's find out. I'm giving you an easy exit from this movie for a couple of seconds. He directed Teen Wolf. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Uh -huh. He directed Teen Wolf? Wait, what? Wait, there's no way. Yes. No, he did. I'm not lying to you. He did. Wow. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense now. Whoa. What's Teen Wolf? Shit! Teen Wolf is a really shitty movie starting Marty McFly. No way. Yes. Gotta watch it now. Yes way. I'm nine years old. Wait, how old was Kevin in the previous movies? I'm so glad you brought that up, OJ. So Right now he literally looks like a fucking fetus, dude. So in Home Alone 2, Kevin was 10 years old. I'm 10 years old. TV's my life. In Home Alone 4, he Kevin is nine. is 9 years old. I'm 9 years old. I watch a lot of TV. So this happened in between the two movies. Somehow. Yeah, you could you could say at the moment somehow you, everything went back to status quo right after Home Alone Four. At the moment, you could say that it takes place between one and two. We'll see how long we can keep that up. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not happening. Dude, where where's the funny traps? You're gonna have to wait another hour or so. Brooks, you need to realize this movie is the trap. Oh no, I'm a goon. <laughs> That's a surprise tool that'll help us later. <laughs> Dude, that is fucked. <laughs> Remember yeah. back when insults were decent? Now we have lame brain and zit face. Look, I, I get it. You know, TV special, they can't hire the same, vo the same actors, but you could try. You could try to cast. You could you could just you could just make it a different family yeah, instead or, of slotting some bullshit or between Home Alone 1 and 2. you could just not have it be the McAllisters because it's like... Or you could just not have a fucking Home Alone 4. Ever not thought of that? Just don't do a fourth! Just don't do it! Just don't! I know you want to, just don't! The idea is supposed to be, hey look, it's the characters you remember and love, but no, no one is going to look at these people and be like, ah yes, the McAllister is my favorite. Ah yes. Hey, the, hey guys, the fact that this doesn't even work on me is a very bad sign. <laughs> so I'm saying that you could have at least attempted to make them look like the characters. Well, let's no. also not even talk about the fact that the house isn't even remotely the same either. Oh, that's, yeah. Well, it's fine. They, they, for one year, uh, or like for a couple of months, they moved to a different house. Yeah, Toy Story 4 driveway teleporting has nothing on this. The entire house teleported. <laughs> Toy Story 4 wishes. Wow, we've only been separated eight months. Yeah, I, it just happened real quickly. Listen, Kate, I really want the kids to spend a little time with me over the 
Kate. Was that was that always the mom's name, Kate? Yes, it was. Oh. Peter, Peter okay, and Kate right. were the parents. They kept the names consistent. Are these even the same character? Like, I mean, yeah, the, yeah, they would be. Like, yeah, they would be. Yeah, how no. they're written. Yeah, unfortunately, Trevor, these characters aren't constantly wearing fucking name tags. So what happened to like the other fifty kids? They died. So basically, what happened in between in between Home Alone one and two? The house teleported onto the scene, and the kids teleported well, off. Well, so the in fair, so the, in fairness, everyone isn't always living in that house. They, that was a family game gathering for the holiday season that they met up and then they would go on mm -hmm. vacation together. It was two different sides of the family that were united together temporarily. This is the ordinary McAllister family with Kevin's brother and sister and their parents. I just want my family back. Peter, Kate, Buzz, Megan, Linny, and Jeff. And my aunt and my cousins. One, two, three, four. Wait, that's supposed to be Kevin? Where have you been you for get, just six minutes? I, Brooks, dude, I just straight it, it did not register. You know those two, like, big things on the side of your head? Yeah, those are called ears. <laughs> They're called ears. <laughs> and you know what ears do? Hopefully you remember what they do. Basically, ears is how you hear. You know, the word hear has the word ear in it. It's Wait, what, what's happening? Uh, shit. Shenanigans is happening. He's oh, gonna no. eat the not fish. These shots. <laughs> These shots. <laughs> what the fuck? Clean it, Jesus. The camera. That was a what the session. hell? What the hell was that? No! What? Okay. Damn, this guy is like actually stock image of a <laughs> this teen brother. This fucking transition is like a Windows Movie Maker. What is happening? What, what is like actually, like, they saw the Windows Movie Maker. They're like, I'll take your entire stock. Give me all the Windows Movie no, Maker. It, it is actually like, really, <laughs> fucking fucking PowerPoint presentations have better transitions than this. Gotta go. Awful. I hate Buzz, and I never want to be stuck home alone with him as long as I live. Oh, you said the movie title. Movie title. Oh my god, Home Alone. And just to remind you, you're watching a Home Alone movie. Just in case you forgot, this was Home Alone. I wish I didn't have a brother or a sister. Wow. I, I oh my god. Where have I heard a similar fo similar line of dialogue before? Again, at least you know, three was very refreshing. Is all. Yes. <laughs> yeah, three. They took it in a different direction. But when we say taken in a different direction, we don't mean this shit. Well, I mean, hey guys, there are some different directions yeah. that this movie goes in at some point. I look forward to. Them, regardless of quality. Yeah, and then Home Alone 6 goes in a different direction from 5. Down. Would you say that's a different direction? Yeah, down. Uh, I mean, it went up from 4, but like, then they go down below every other movie. Yeah, I do remember ho liking Home Alone 5 more than 4. So, it looks like these fucking a clock transition. <laughs> this is literally a PowerPoint transition. This can literally be a PowerPoint. Transition, dude. Do we know the budget for this movie? Two dollars. to go to IMDb. They just, they had a tip jar open. The budget was that pig. <laughs> <laughs> the piggy pig. Ah. Uh... Oh no! And look at his face, he always has this dumbass face here. Like, just always. Everything he's in, just his face. Is she eating hot chip right now? Oh no. Yes! She's Actually, I got chip. spoiled on this. He does have a girlfriend now. Yeah, Harry's gone. Now it's just Marv. Damn. Oh. So what, what we're supposed to believe is that between Home Alone 1 and 2, they moved houses. And then, and then Marv was like, fuck you, Harry, I'm gonna become this guy instead. And then for Home Alone 2, they got back together for some reason. Yeah, that doesn't work. This needs to take place after two, but that doesn't work either because he's nine now. Yeah, this movie is full of baloney because Marv would never get bitches. I, I also would like to draw you guys' attention to an interesting bit of trivia I've discovered. Apparently, Daniel Stern, who played Marv in the first two Home Alone movies, was approached to reprise his role for Home Alone 4, but Stern, quote, quickly declined, calling it an insult and total garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who said that? D they, the person who played Marv in the first two movies. No, bro, that's messed up. Keep change. It's all change. Funny? <laughs> Is the reaction enough? I mean, they did. They did. They forgot to add in the laugh track in editing. Well, it was a TV movie. They could have gotten away with it. Okay, they they spent all the budget on these TVs here. Yeah. So you may remember how Kevin was like, "I hate my brother and sister. I don't want to be with them ever again." Well. Now he's he's just he's just ran away with his piggy bank and now he's gonna chill at, at his dad's mansion. Oh yeah, that didn't even phase me. Yeah, he just ran away. Or sorry, not his dad's his dad's girlfriend's mansion. Whoa! What's going on here? Kevin! Dad! Dad! I hope you don't mind me just dropping in like this, but my dad did invite me. Yes, I know. 
Why does everyone sound like AI? Dude, <laughs> yeah, 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 I was about to say. Because the director sucks, I don't know. The director said, okay, be as robotic as possible here. Sounds like she's like a phone line caller. Probably, actually, probably what happened is, uh, this was made so cheaply and so fast that it was like, first take for yeah, everything. This guy, for, yeah, literally, no, 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 not even the first take, the negative first take. So, so you look forward to spending time with him, huh? Does that imply that he is not going to be home? Home alone, considering. Mm -hmm. Night. There's no. He's not. I don't think he's in a house by himself for the entire movie. This is a smart house, Kevin. It does whatever you tell it to. Fire out. Is it voice activated? Everything is voice activated nowadays. So, guys, this is the movie that I ended up watching a little bit of now. Now I don't know that's the case because of the remote. So, this is the other thing. They expect you, on top of all the other stuff we just mentioned, they expect you to believe this takes place between one and two, meaning that they had a massive leap forward in technology and then it scaled back to the technology of 1992. Oh my god, FNAF was inspired by Home Alone 4. <laughs> Yo, where's Freddy Fazbear though? Yeah, Kevin's like, I love this room and look how big this ball pit is in the corner. Where is he? Well, yeah, he's gone. I'm, I'm sorry. He Dora, left. his shoes are still there. Oh, just fought process of... Yeah, what is Kevin? Oh, right. That that other kid is supposed to be Kevin. I forgot. Because how bad this yeah. casting is. So the only time anyone is home alone is when she's home alone right now. Plot twist. The <laughs> robbers target the parents this time. <laughs> yeah, the parents have to do everything. The kids are gone on a flight to France. Merry Christmas. So am I supposed to be feeling emotions right now because of your stock sad music? Dude, that is the most stock though. It's like the most generic sad music I've ever heard. Like, you know, actually, I keep saying this. YouTube audio library. Over here, dear. Hey. Hi. Breakfast time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why are all the screens though? <laughs> not one screen. But all right, like so what, what year does this take? take place again imagine waking up to just like her on, on your tv telling it's time to wake yeah, up yeah no I, I think i think i think i think one image of her is good enough for me thanks <laughs> maybe no images would you like to open one no you're gonna spoil them it's her house she wants to spoil me she can spoil me. and not the biggest one is it the biggest, one? The biggest yep. one and so this is a surprise tool that'll help us uh, later yes thanks <laughs> wow Thanks, Natalie. Man, what amazing acting, I'm, I must admit. But what are you talking about, Kuhani? Is that acting? Acting oh. would imply that they are portraying a character. Is this acting? So why why could they just not make this a different family? Like, come on. Like, nothing changes. The movie only gets better if this is a different family. Question. Why was that music there? Yeah, exactly. Nothing happened whatsoever. It subverted your expectations. But, okay, then the timing is fucking terrible. <laughs> Mr. Prescott, can I ask you a question? Yes. What? Why the fuck are you in this movie? Because it went through dramatic music, then sounds for like three seconds, and then dialogue. What's this thing? A mini elevator? It's called a dumbwaiter. A dumb waiter? Are you sure you're not looking in the mirror? Speak or ask countless idiotic questions. Damn! Yeah, he just went for it. <laughs> I need, I need Prescott to say hello there in his voice. Come on. Why are you? Do you have eyes? He's a Dude, kid. He is a kid. I don't. Well, think I he mean, cares. that's why. That's probably why he went because it's a no trespassing. He was curious. That's what brats do. He's like, huh? yeah, that's what that's what not Kevin does. Just looks at the security cameras, just Molly looking at every one of them at the same time. Oh my god. <laughs> Boom. Jump scare. Oh my god, speaking of FNAF ball pits, jump scare? This is my domain and strictly off limits, understood? So, for the soundtrack, we have went from John Williams in the first two movies to Juan Gilliams in the third movie to just John in the fourth movie. Teddy Kasuyuchi. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but that that's the name of okay, the Okay, all right, all right, all right. Teddy Bear made the music. So it wasn't just AI generated? Got it. Teddy from Persona 4 made the soundtrack. <laughs> So I checked IMDb and one of the things he was the composer for was Adam Sandler goes to hell, whatever that is. The fuck? Wait, what? What the fuck? Can I, may I ask what the hell is an Adam Sandler goes to hell? Open sesame. Open sesame? Okay. You have to say open sesame. What a great oh combination. Oh, he just yelled into this mirror here. What? Great. Yeah, nobody. Kevin? Whoa! What the hell? What? 
That came out of nowhere. Random dancing. Yeah. Damn, just a million Dude, different what? showers. Dude, this is like a TikTok kit, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, bro, a fucking, a fucking car wash doesn't have that anyway, much water. What did I miss? <laughs> the, the car wash shower. Oh. I'm off. Dang, music off. So I remember I was saying in the last movie that the music is actually in the world, but he said music off and then the music that was in movie actually went off. So I think that my theory was actually correct. All right, what are these two gonna do? Who's the boss? You're the boss. Where's boss. the boss? Right. Dang, Marv must have been went through a tough breakup I, in Home Alone this is, 2. This, this is <laughs> what is this dynamic? The entirety of Home Alone 2 is just a coping mechanism. This feels mechanism more like a him. sibling relationship than like a boyfriend-girlfriend It can't be. People I don't recognize. No, it can't be. <laughs> can't be, bro. It can't be. Wait, what the fuck <laughs> happened to Marv? Dude, I want what he's on right now. <laughs> yeah, that can't be. There's no way he didn't look that stupid. Wait, he at least he at least had like a quarter of a brain. And by, and by the way, again, I have to ask, what are the fucking odds that again, <laughs> again? Dude, I feel like Kevin is putting his address online for all these criminals to see. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Watch this, uh, alarm. Oh. Characters die. Fuck, it didn't work. Movie end. <laughs> yeah, movie end. I wish. Roll credits. I married a genius. Did you? D did you really? Wait, so you, okay, so that means that, that in the span of a year, he broke out of prison, married her, and then divorced her and got back together with Harry. And the newspapers only got printed for all this a couple of years later. I don't think they thought about this at all. <laughs> they did not. They probably just forgot about Kevin's age and... They forgot there was a Home Alone 2. They thought Home Alone 2 was different characters. Door open. Grow brain. Wow. That's like the first character consistent thing that happened to him. Dang, imagine he walks in the door, there's just like a couple mollies. Anybody in here? Well, not now. Shh. You shh, you shh, you shh. What is this? No, literally, what is this? Oh, they're gonna get blasted by the fucking car wash shower. The fact that that can even happen, that's a, quite an design oversight. <laughs> What? Oh. what? <laughs> they, just, they just don't have. They just don't have any <laughs> drains in here. I remember this well, scene. Obviously, oops, yeah. what you even? can't forget this shit. The cameraman be like, "Fuck." <laughs> now they're the really wet bandits. The house is now a swimming pool. Oh! Wait, you oh my God! What was that an here accent or was that actually? Here, here it comes! <laughs> Everyone in the house like no, starts running away. And rip what property the? value. Where is Prescott? <laughs> they really can't afford drains, dude. All right, now don't you have like something to take a picture? Do you have a way to take a picture of them by any chance? What, you have, what, like, the, something? what the? Are you kidding me? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Do you have a, a camera? This guy's face, I can't. And every shot. You! Hello, Marv. Long time no see. That kid, I'll be back! So, the security cameras. Oh, and there's the wipe yeah, again. They, they don't have security cameras. Oh, sorry, we didn't get any footage of the. I, I hope we just don't move past the the house falling like it never happened. I hope that. I hope yeah, that's not yeah. What Prescott. We do. Prescott's like, well, we could have gotten footage of the burglars, but instead, all of our security cameras were focused on Molly. Oh my God, Prescott is working with the bad guys or some shit. Is he? Oh, that'd be fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> Drown yeah, water. Got a single shuckle. Everyone, everyone's having a competition for who can like have the best scream in Home Alone movies. Kevin, what? What have you done? Don't we have footage? We should have footage, right? Right? Not if they don't record. It wasn't me. It was the burglars. No, 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 it, it was you, to be fair. It was, but because there were burglars here. Your house. So you chose instead to trash it? No, I was trying to protect it. By trashing it? By flooding it? Where were you? He, he was either asleep or he's in cahoots with them. Or he was just looking at Molly. One child could do so much damage in the time it took me to quite beyond me. Well, I mean, this is still your fault, right? He is actually criminally stupid, dude. Like, it should be illegal to be this dumb. You know, in the first and second movies, Kevin's traps were a lot more precise and calculated than this. Not He, he didn't just go, what should I do? Oh, I know. 
know, let's flood the house. Flood the house. Yeah, but fuck it. Why not? To be fair, to be fair, he wouldn't. He, I, I would. If I were him, I would have expected. Hey, there must be a system that stops this, right? He turned on every single fucking dial in that bathroom. Of course, that was gonna flood the house. It's a like it, he didn't need to do that. He only needed to you know do the shower, not to knock him out, and then run away. That's all he needed. Why the fuck did he flood the house? Well, I thought this over, and uh, I understand that this is a difficult adjustment for you. Oh, so you're fine. Prescott, right? Because uh, that was uh, incredibly negligent of him. So you're firing him, obviously. Nah, they can't fire him. It's not as if I'm not insured. The security cameras. I, I'm pretty sure the security cameras weren't functioning properly. Why? They weren't functioning. Maybe the, all the water damage. I don't remember. I don't remember the reasoning, but I, I, I'm pretty sure they, account, they account for Did this. Did the writers like short circuit them or something with the shitty writing? All right, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. I would leave, leave, yeah. please leave. Oh, because of, of Prescott? Yeah, whatever. Yes, he's literally in his room. He already told him not to be there. Well, I mean, he wanted to, to check the thing. Unless he spends like a bunch of time later for no reason. Come on, Mav, he's just a little boy. Like well, got big scars from that little there, there to reference to. Say that you got hit with bricks or some shit. Time, it's all gonna go smooth as silk. Because this time, I got an inside man. What the fuck are you doing? Imagine they just got into a car accident. You know, having a pair of idiots that hate each other is not like does not lead to good chemistry. Chemistry? I hardly know her. This movie doesn't even know basic chemistry. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a funny cut. All right. I'll give you that. All right, who's who's the twist villain of the series? It's funny you say that. Everyone I, in the entire movie is a twist villain. It's funny you say that, Brooks. I just in that scene, I just remembered how this how they explain this, and ah. Uh, <laughs> so it's either there's two options. It's Natalie for the insurance money, and because and because it's a girlfriend, or it's this chick. For no reason at all. I, I wonder if it'll be the one that's the least important. Well, Prescott is a lonely man. The only thing he has is this job. He hates working here. But to do what you're suggesting... Then it all makes perfect sense. Yeah, he, he must be a red herring, right? Right? Yep. Dude, we're seeing that it's him, so there's no way that it's him. I Either that or she turned it off, but he wasn't the, there. So, something. okay, let, Damn it. yes, if she turned it off, which is what I would think, Prescott would still... Oh, a camera turned off. I wonder why. Also, there's a lot of noise going on. So, he must have been asleep or some shit. I have to abstain from this conversation because I already know. It's coming back to me now. In a flood. This is all bullshit. In a, in a flood. In a literal flood. In a literal flood. flood. Yes, that was what I was trying to say. Stop yes. doing these freaking. fucking transitions. That's it's literally <laughs> just, freaking just, you PowerPoint. Can just cut. Stop doing you can this. Just cut. Dude, these fucking... I can't believe it. Windows Movie Maker stocks went up after this movie released. Did it? Or does it go down? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, this is definitely going to be the worst Christmas ever. Hey, Kev, how you doing? Perfect timing. Hey, Kev, I heard something about it being the worst Christmas ever. This is definitely going to be the worst Home Alone movie ever. Is it, though? No. Because Disney decided to come in here. <laughs> So we're not going to talk about how fast they fix uh, the water. What is this? The, the, the crap coffer? Oh my god, it's like it's like when people sing the national anthem. Oh my oh no. <laughs> I don't know, I'm more distracted by the cinematography. Where's Drake in this feature? Yeah, a lot of, you know... Holy Dutch angles. Blurs. Like, I, I can barely focus. Dude, the cameraman just started boogieing down. Hey, at least there's not like a dumb transition between every shot. That, that'd be actually... Yeah, oh my god, terrible. every shot, it like it has like a snow falling effect. Cameraman, calm down a bit. Dude, this is, this is a TikTok video I'm watching right here. If you think that this is bad camera work, oh boy, do I have a movie for you yeah, to watch Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Y yet again, the music is actually in universe. It always is. I'm telling you, dude. Every time in Home Alone 3, you're like, do you not hear him? No, the music is actually playing in the world. They're just used to it. So can we see the finished tree here? I need to see how this turned out. I need to see what the tree looks like right now. Come on, don't be shared, shared. I need to see the worst tinsel you've ever seen. Like the garland looks like absolute shit. Like actually spaghetti on the Christmas tree. I'm way more bored watching this than I was watching Home Alone 3. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. I can tell you that much. 
Yeah. Does anyone watch Home Alone movies for like the plot, or do you watch it for the for the part where the bad guys get like? Uh, up? Brooks, Brooks, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the first two movies actually have really compelling emotional. Cores. Well, yeah, yeah, but do people watch it for that? I don't really care. Not what... the not four, five, and six. I mean, people yeah, don't watch four, but, five, but and six I see in general. The trailers so, like... for Home Alone. I see, I see guy falling down building and getting hit with brick and head. So there are many things that are shown off in trailers because I think it's going to be what gets people into the theater, but there are also more things that are concealed from the trailers because they don't want to give away the more valuable things to take away from it. I like the upcoming twist villain. Also, while we're bored out of our minds, it, we should add a poll for chat. Did people know this movie fucking existed before our commentaries? Uh, probably. Most of the time it seems that people are surprised that 5 and 6 exist. No, like people, I see a lot of people like, wait, there's a Home Alone 4? Or even, even for 3, they're like, there's a Home Alone 3? To the mom is straight up laughing. 5 and 6 is like, okay. <laughs> a lot of people were like, Home, Alone, Home Sweet Home Alone is the third Home Alone movie. Like, no, 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 no. No, no, you've been missing out. Oh, there's your tree. The worst Christmas tree that's ever been. <laughs> they put the star randomly on the tree there. Wait, what? The star isn't even on the top. Is there a star on the top? That might be because the tree's too tall for the house. I'm not sure, though. Good morning, sleepyheads. You're finally out. What did you do to our tree? Oh, that's my fault. I have a standing appointment with the tree decorators every year, and in all the excitement, I forgot to cancel. You undid our tree. Dude, come on. It actually looks good now. My two film theories for this movie. One, all the music in the Home Alone series is in-universe, and two, Natalie is a fucking robot. Matt, Pat, get on this. Hey, Mom, where are you going? I'm going to take Kevin some things. Mom, where are you going? Uh, my <laughs> mom, where are you going? Everyone shows up. Hey, mom, where are you going? Uh, other kid shows up. Hey, mom, where are you going? Oh, fucking stop with the clock transition! Holy shit, that clock transition is like free real estate. Ah! Hey, hey, you guys remember Natalie? They look more like the siblings from the third movie than they do the first two. Yeah, maybe they got confused. I don't know. Because I would also kind of say that for the parents as well. As long as we could just all agree that they look nothing like the characters from hey, Home Alone uh, hey, 1 or hey, 2. question. <laughs> How how old is the the protagonist from the third movie? I don't know. What did he say? It was like eight or something. Isn't that very interesting? <laughs> hey, now would you be implying that they actually were trying to write a sequel to Home Alone three, but then they changed the the characters' names at the last second? Yes. Damn. So we have a third film theory going on here. It wouldn't even surprise me. It would actually kind of make sense. They're like, wait a minute. No one gives a shit about Home Alone three. Oh, it's better than this. Yes. A lot better, in fact. Quite quite a bit. This is Teddy. Oh my god, Teddy? We found Teddy again. Carries with him everywhere. You, you actually, you're supposed to have a spare in case something happens to it. <laughs> How could I forget? What are we doing? Random shenanigans. That's what what we're doing. I I think we're doing comedy. I I don't know. It's like supposed to establish chemistry or something. I don't know. Like oh, for later. Okay. When you realize how wrong it was and he wants to get back together. It's like an onion, but not because it has layers, but because it makes you cry. You know, nothing's happened except the True. Ex except except for the part where he flooded the fucking house. Except the flood. Also, also, when is Kevin gonna be home alone exactly? Never. He will never be home alone. Forward to it. Children, watch the garden sculpture. I swear to God, Natalie is literally just a fucking robot. What? Actually, just robotic. Hey there, fellow humans. Please don't fly your airplane into a window. Well, we're off to the airport to pick up the royal family. You all know how important this is. I think the royal family shows up and they- I, I need to see the royal family get, like, launched down the stairs with the fucking water spout. So, oh in, in what country is this supposed to take place? Uh, America. <laughs> the- I, I, okay, royal family in America. That's a new one. I'm assuming the implication is that it's an international royal yeah. family. I swear to God, stop using the clock transition. I'm tired of seeing it every day. <laughs> the, the, clock, the, clock, the clock transition is for this movie what Dutch angles are for Blue's Clues. <laughs> yeah, like, holy shit, dude. By the way, let's talk about the whole divorce storyline. They haven't even really fleshed it out at all. It's just, it's just happening. They tried. D did they? Did they try anything? Why is he still wearing the beanie? More suspicious. Why is he, he still wearing? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, the fucking Marv's beanie is like just like his lucky charm. It's the burglars! It's the burglars! It's Marv! I guess you already knew that though. This movie is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look! What? Wait, 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 wait. Hey, what the hell is that? Rifle with me, you demon spawn! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just stop. Hey, what's that? What? Ah. 
<laughs> oh my god, he locks him in the freezer, doesn't he? He locks him in the Yep, he sure does. Yeah, that, 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 that did happen. Really? <laughs> yeah, did. Just let him cool off a little bit. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he's, I guess he's chilling now. So you tell me that there's no way to open it from the inside, huh? I can buy that part. Okay, okay. With a fridge that big, with no way to open it from the inside, that's very very bad design. The other thing with freezer doors and why they can't open from inside is just because of the difference in air pressure. Damn, I can't wait for the end of the movie where they're, everyone's having a happy ending and they're like, Oh shit, we forgot about Mr. Prescott and he's just an ice cube. I hope he is actually an ice cube. They don't have the budget for that. They're just gonna add like a blue filter over him so he looks like a fucking Yeah, he will, be, he will be an ice statue. It would be really guy. funny if they made him a statue, but at the same time I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But wouldn't it be so fucking funny if they did? Always in a hurry. Uh, do you need the little spy yeah, thing to I hear that? Say, like, he sure doesn't. The plan with the rope in the bag. Yeah, okay. So, what are they looking for exactly? I think they're trying to kidnap the prince. When the prince comes up the bed, bag him. The fuck is this plan? Wow, that is what? actually the plan. Yeah, okay, so Home Alone... This so goofy ass plan. <laughs> <laughs> so Home Alone 3 had terrorists? Home Alone 4 has royal kidnappings. The prince goes in the bag. Bag goes out the window. What the fuck is this plan, dude? This is the greatest, yeah, this plan. The greatest plan. I said the it fuck? first. Shouldn't Kevin have just said, hey, why don't you guys go check the security camera so that the adults could see that there was a tape missing, which would then raise suspicion for like, why wasn't the tape? Yeah, I thought what they were going to do with that scene is that he was going to be like, hey, the camera was missing. And Prescott was going to say, you messed with the tape. You deleted it something. You ruined it or some shit. No, they did absolutely nothing with it. God, dude, this is so stupid. <laughs> you don't say. This is the dumbest. Yeah, they're just in a bag as he's just trying to pull her here. What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Game over, yay! <laughs> you are dead, Dark Souls. You can't <laughs> say that again. You suck. Also, no one hears this. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to kidnap the prince. Shut up, you little moron. Got him. <laughs> kidnap the prince? This is a Home Alone movie. We would never kidnap the prince. That's a second more thing to say. You know, the whole point about having the dumb one is having a straight man to bounce off of him. The moment you, you do it, like, have and even morons, dumber ones, kind of destroy that dynamic and you just have you know two bumbling buffoons so basically marv here's the timeline here marv went from petty burglary flooding people's houses to kidnapping the prince to petty burglary I, I, in a toy store I, 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 I <laughs> this, is, this is the I don't timeline just don't think about it. it they didn't either i'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forget this yeah, holy shit dude also what are you cooking <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that actual potion mm, i wonder if he's gonna hit the wrong person wouldn't that be funny that sounds like a funny yeah he hits natalie and she starts short-circuiting Wait. Oh, hey, okay, okay, he actually hit the right. No, they actually did it. Let's go. Wait, he's under tongue. No, 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 that's not. No, no. What? Okay, the pots just land right on their heads. I remember this. Please tell me. Conveniently, exactly right on their heads. Oh, at the right angle, at the right spot. Even though they're like next to each other. Yeah, and of course they don't show it because they would never be able to actually do that. That's oh, not how that works. Really? Wow. Why is there a, no one has no one like why is there a shit and piss stain on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one? No one? Everyone just like For dominoing what along? Earth? What the fuck? What? First of all. What? Oh, that, Are that you is fucking kidding me? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, no, I'm impressed. Oh my god, what? they did it! They actually, they actually How did do you it. fuck up something so funny? What the fuck? <laughs> Trevor, you actually got the power. I'm so proud well, of you, Except it wasn't funny. <laughs> it somehow wasn't funny. You've unleashed your inner joke of prediction power. What the fuck Like, like actually, happened? like, where was I'm he? I'm so proud What was he in the scene? So did the fucking people, they go into the freezer, they're like, yeah, that's a cool decoration, and Chuck Prescott into the, the fucking fuck table? <laughs> Is that what happened? They saw so, There they... was a shot of the girlfriend character looking at the sculptor, and I was like, wait, is that actually Prescott? But I couldn't really see him there. And then they show him on the ground. I, I guess we'll have to show it in editing, if that actually looks like he was there. I still can't believe that I actually called that. I like the thought process. Like, someone opened the freezer and thought that the dude was a statue. <laughs> 
<laughs> and brought him in. Hmm, how'd this get how, here? How how did they pull this? Oh, wow. I didn't know they spent this much money on decorations. Did everyone's predict in the future? Let's go. And when you're ready to apologize to Natalie. How do they even know he's responsible for anything? Besides, like, the, the freezer, of course. That, that That's like... But, like, how dare you fling the pot yeah, conveniently right onto their heads? They trust the two guys, and they, and they told him that he did all that. Which, I mean, I guess that would be fair. I, I don't know that I think it's just that they were too disoriented from being knocked out and all they saw happen was him charge into the room, knock over the guests, and break the, the, the Prescott yeah, but they statue. They didn't hear the screaming. <laughs> They're like, how dare you break my Prescott statue? They're, they're basically accusing him of trying to sabotage his relationship with Natalie. Yeah, but what about the screams in the other room of the burglars? See, but you gotta understand, people are deaf. Everyone in this, everyone in this mansion. The doors are just airtight and sound tight, I guess. No one can hear anything. I, I, this Back to the Future Part 2 13 screen TV is just... Like, why would you ever need this? Like, yes, I want to watch It's a Wonderful Life on 15 nah, it's, it's the TikTok screens. Kid TV. You gotta have, you have to have Subway Surfers on one of the screens, or Reddit Ask Me Anything on the other screen, and then you gotta have, like, you know, the nine other shows. Nah, you need, you need the Minecraft parkour in one of them, too. Yeah, no, this is, like, the future of entertainment. You have Subway Surfers game, gameplay on one of the TV screens. The other one, you have like some satisfying squishy shit oh, I'm video. I'm In sorry. another video, you have like Fortnite gameplay. Other one, you have like CSGO surf footage. It's the future of entertainment. I I'm sorry. I'm still not over the fucking Prescott Ice statue. That's just that's so dumb. <laughs> I mean, Trevor, you. I'm so proud of you, Trevor. You finally have gotten the power to predict the future with jokes. We all predict. Everyone but of art predicted it. <laughs> I'll have that window fixed first thing in the morning. Sweet dreams. Wait, what, what just happened there? You better not cross me or I will add 15 more TV screens to your room. So there's only 23 minutes left of this movie. They got a lot to pack in in a short amount of time if they want to get the mm -hmm. big... The I, big... I, wonder, I wonder what they're going to do. I don't understand people who watch movies over and over again. I saw it, I cried. Once was enough. Well, Natalie, maybe if you only star in shit like this, then I guess it makes sense for you to question why anyone would ever want to <laughs> watch it more than once. Oh my god, again with the fucking... That's, that was even worse. <laughs> That was even- uh, that was an even worse transition. Each transition is worse than the last one. God, dude, holy uh, shit, I dude. mean, the, 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 the movie needs to uh, improve on itself somewhat, right? It needs to find the worst transition that it can possibly find. One of these transitions is literally gonna be like the origami bird flapping away. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> That's gonna happen. The crumpled- it's gonna be like a crumpled paper drop transition. Dude, this way they should just make every cut have the transition. Get in the back. Shut up, you bag! Oh! Oh my god, it makes sense! Kevin was editing this movie the whole time. We figured it out, guys. Merry Christmas, Dad! Hey! Are you ready to go? Oh, where? Natalie and I gotta go pick up the royal family right now. And why do you both have to go? Uh, sometimes you gotta do things you don't wanna do. This is one of those times. That's not really an answer, though. It's a very parent answer. In in which case, okay, can you not take him with you? Dude, or he just wants to hang out with him. Yeah, in which case, yeah, that's fair. It's amazing how I heard nothing any of you said at any point during the last <laughs> ten seconds. I know it's kind of like the movie itself. <laughs> Dude, you're supposed to hang out with this hottie wife, though. Like, I don't blame Yeah, her. why do you both have to go to ha together? Well, if we didn't go together, you see, you wouldn't be home alone. Even though you're still not home alone because Prescott's in the house. What the fuck is this doing in the Home Alone franchise? There is not a single second of this movie in which Kevin is in a house by himself. That just, no, there's not one second. All right, we're on our way. Let's go, Pookie. Pookie? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what? What did he just call her? They're just keep going through the front entrance. Yeah, like, okay, dude. I mean, it worked the first time. Can yeah. you lock the gate or something? Well, I mean, remember, we, we suspect that someone on the inside is giving them a helping hand. Yeah, but are they currently inside the house? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, what is this plan here? Oh, go come on! Are you kidding me? Was the key left there? Okay. He just left the key in there. Prescott is not their accomplice. I am. You're the inside man? I'm afraid so. Hey, Mom! <sighs> Mom! <laughs> yeah. What the plot twist! Yeah! Dude, this guy's so much better! Damn, dude. No wonder she gave birth to these pieces of shit! So, remember that thing I said about- So, Molly- Molly is now officially- Now, Molly is now officially the worst character yeah. because she gave birth to Marv- Stop with the fucking clock transition! I'm tired of this fucking clock. I never noticed just how many goddamn clock transitions there were. Stop! 
Just stop doing it. We don't need the goddamn pizza wheel. The second I actually thought that it was going to be the, the girlfriend that's going to be the assignment, but whatever. This makes a slightly more sense, so... Does that? Yeah, no, the Natalie's just a robot, unrelated to anything going on, just a, just a robot. Is that another present she gave you? What a show off. Hooray. But I need to tell you something. I need to talk to mom. Okay, you told me. Funny. You know, you could have opened with, I'm in a lot of trouble right now, there's, I need help immediately, instead of all the other things. And where were you the first time these guys broke in? I've been, oh. There we go. Okay, yep, I know it. All right. So, whenever she's not here, I, um... Uh, you take advantage. I take a break. He was napping on the job, guys. Napping yeah. is what he was doing. You know, they could have just had it so that she knocked him out, like, intentionally put him to sleep, instead of just, oop, I decided to take a nap while there was a small child in the house. Are you calling to say Merry Christmas? Mom, are you there? Sweetheart! Are you there, Mom? Kevin? Mom? That's convenient. Kevin! <laughs> the battery's dead. Oh, that's why? How... Inconvenient. Inconvenience. You know, if only you called mom before Buzz, you know, like, imagine... One of these characters, uh, is, like, completely useless. One! There are 14 minutes left. What? Hello? Yes. Gotta be something that we can do to get out of here. Let me move these boxes. There's a secret exit. Was that a, Mar a Mario level? If you hit this job, why don't you quit? Jobs aren't that easy to come by. I could end up working for someone far worse. You shouldn't stay someplace you hate. Just cause you're scared. Life's too short. That was a very child written by adult moment right there. Did Molly just not think about the fact that this thing existed? You better stay- Go check out the wine yeah, cellar. that's- Oh, uh, I thought he was gonna get hit by that pot conveniently right there. Uh, if anyone's gonna get hit, it's gonna be her. Well, actually, hmm. Hey! Over here! What the fuck is happening right now? Oh. <laughs> They just oh, keep- Oh, <laughs> Well, both of them. That's- that's a, a two-for-one deal. That's good. They walked right in front of where it was. Yeah, it's not as egregious as I thought it was gonna be when Mar when Marv was standing there for a second. But like, why would she take the elevator? But like, but like, but like, why? <laughs> also, gotta praise this movie for something, right? That at least the old man had so edited something to the overall plot where he helped him. Sure. He was in the movie. He was in the movie just to be a fucking uh, red herring. Yeah, like it, it'd actually be a fine character if it, you know if he didn't Kevin? sleep on the job right? when the kid was present. No, 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 he was napping on the job. Also, I love how we're doing booby traps right now, and we just started doing them, and we're literally only have like less than ten. Also, minutes these booby traps the are not like. Comparatively with all the movies, I get a TV budget, but yeah, because they blew their budget on flooding the house. They blew their budget on fucking buying Dead. the mansion. <laughs> yeah, accurate response. You know, you could just take both, right? Surely it'll lead to a payoff in the end, but like you could have just taken both. I don't. Shut up, you moron. Hey, I'm no moron. They tried to do the fucking talk boy from Home Alone too. Uh, there's deja vu. <laughs> who in case you hadn't noticed is totally kicking our butt. I am my own boss. Th this is just fucking terrible. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I Can you I get know. off my screen, please? I don't like looking at you. Oh. <laughs> move your move. ass. Move. Move. Fucking move. move. <laughs> Fuck, did just stand there? Oh. And now he falls down the stairs. Ow, you're dead. Move! Why no, does not, nobody not dead, move? But... <laughs> Did you just give him the middle finger? No, it was it was like, I like finger I down. also I like how he I like how he grabbed his leg and then just let go right afterwards. <laughs> Alright, come on out, kid. Open bar. Open bookshelf. Open open book bar. Open book bar thing. Open, open sesame. That's stupid. Well, just get off me, alright? I'm gonna take you. <laughs> fucking open book bar thing majig thing open thing open St please. just 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 step off just just fucking leave get off <laughs> 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 what does this camera so the so the items on the shelf are just gonna fall off maximum speed says why is this for, even an of, option? Yes, why? first of all, why is this a thing Who that would ever want Second this, of all, dude? Step off the platform. What the fuck is this? Why what the what? <laughs> why is maximum what? speed just to be a combination of words you can do? What, do? what, what even is that fuck? angle? Why did, why did none of the books or glasses fall off? How did that what? Yeah, dead. 
<laughs> Fucking game over, yeah. And now she's falling on top of him, and then they are, and then he's doubly dead. Dude, they they actually played like bone cracking sound effects when he hit the floor there. But no, <laughs> he's just fine. Yeah, we're just all good here. Yeah, move. I wonder. Get out of the way. Move. Get out of the way, dumbass. Fucking <laughs> move. Use your legs. <laughs> Why did the First, I have to explain to Brooks what ears are, then I have to explain to Marv what legs are. And then they like, die. My heart was Breaking Bad inspired by Home Alone 4. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Prescott. At your service. Mr. Prescott. What the fuck? That was the booby trap section of the movie, by the way. It's yeah, that was it. It's done. That's, that's all you get. That's all you get. That was... That was terrible. Oh, turns out we actually couldn't get the royal family, by the way. They were on vacation. How did Prescott's go up? Unless the... He just climbed. He climbed that Yeah, thing. yeah, but like, wasn't the actual thing in the way? Did the burglars... No, I think... No, 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 no. Because they moved the elephant to, to the highest floor, eventually. Oh, oh, they did? Oh, that's lucky. No, 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 it isn't. Because he got stuck in the elevator thing. It needed to move up for him to be freed. Hey, look, they set up the tripping them. No, it didn't. Oh. Because the last thing that he he got hit with was his hand. Like he was going up when that happened. Th there's also there's no way those kids could have gotten around the back of the house faster than they got through the house. They would have had to run around. The, the shortest, the fastest route between two points is a straight line, which is what they would have had to run in inside the house. The kids would have had to run around the perimeter of the building to cut them off. But funny trip joke from the beginning of the movie. This movie was a trip. I, I feel like we kind of glossed over the fact that they just got launched halfway across the universe by that stupid bookshelf. Why can't it even spin? I mean, they that also they also got they also got thing? launched. They also got launched around the globe when they got tripped. Like them getting tripped caused them to fly. Yeah, how, how exactly did they just not step off that thing and why does it have that option? Yeah, so like at a certain point obviously it's not safe enough like you'd be pinned to the bookshelf by centrifugal force. But when it yes. first started rotating around, get off the spinning well, platform. Uh, as we have been shown multiple times, these guys are dumb and they also don't like moving. They really hate moving. They all just sit there right in front of every single trap and never move. That was so, man, this is, I mean, okay, okay, dude, dude, Prescott was a fucking ice statue. Even he could have moved out of the way in the time it took them. Like, the, the, the fucking, the closet spinning that fast out of nowhere is like some ghost trick shit. And I have an eye, like, I guess the books are glued in. <laughs> because none of them <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, literally, they, they actually just glued all well, the yeah, books Yeah, so again, there. while it's spinning, centrifugal force will keep it all locked in place, but the instant that it stops... It's gonna get fly. It's gonna be sent flying. You know, kind of like they did. <laughs> Those books are gonna be bye bye. All right. And I wanna come home. I love you. I love you. Bro, Natalie did not deserve this, honestly. You say Natalie didn't deserve this? What movie were you watching? I, I mean, Natalie's just a robot the entire time. We're just not gonna address that. The po yeah, the final shot, the final shot is she's gonna start crying, and then all of a sudden her crying is gonna cause her to short circuit. Did not deserve it. No fall. Wow, he looked into the ca- fucking- Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 The end. What? That's all you get. <laughs> there you me? go. Bye bye! <laughs> so smart world. That's they the live film. In that you okay, what he, but, that's how that's that's the movie, Trevor. So Trevor, tell me, was that better than you thought it was gonna be going into it? That was one of the worst <laughs> movies I've ever watched in my life. <laughs> Wait, that was a movie? I thought that was some that was a nightmare I just went through. I'm not watching the credits, I'm quitting out of the shit. I'm not I'm not. No, you gotta listen, you gotta listen to Teddy from Teddy Roosevelt's music. How here. dare you not not uh watch the twenty second credits? <laughs> the credits only last for like ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Before the half of the credits is literally the 20th Century Fox logo. Yeah, that is genuinely one of the worst films I've ever watched. <laughs> so, Trevor, let me tell me: is your Santa's naughty list of the top 20 worst movies you've ever seen outdated yet again? Yes, and you know what? It will probably be outdated again when we watch the next one, and then again when we watch the <laughs> and next then again, one. And then well, yeah, okay. and then basically you're only allowed one per series, though, Trevor. So I'm excited to see which one you end up. Wait, which the most. one is the worst of the Home Alone movies? Home Sweet Home. Sweet Home Alone is definitely my pick for the shittiest out of the bunch, but this isn't far behind. This is this is I, terrible. I think I think I gotta say IMDb was really generous with this movie. Okay, so so I'm I'm just pressing three buttons here: click, shift, delete, 
enter. Yeah. So are we all in agreement that that's the worst one so far? Yes. Yeah, I think <laughs> yes, absolutely. You know, what the fuck? Like, wait, I thought that was the best one. What? Uh, yeah, probably. You know it's bad when not even the fucking the Google thing why to watch gives you a good reason to watch. It's just, it's just data insufficient. <laughs> yeah. It only took 600 megabytes of my hard drive and I still think it was beast at space. I get it. Brooks, thank you for joining us for this piece of shit. What would you give Humble on 4 out of 10? I give it two Marv's girlfriends out of eight and a half Prescott's. Okay. Let's just leave it as a two. I give this movie two Vera bags out of ten. Have a good day, Burks. See you later. Oh my god. It's a one. <laughs> this movie's a one. Are you- no, I give it- I think we lost the verb for a bit. I think his internet's dying. I accidentally- I accidentally pl unplugged my microphone, so uh- Oh, yeah. accidentally. I, I see it. we're gonna explain why it, it, it doesn't deserve a one. Mm, how convenient. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a two. I'm, I'm, I'm saving the one for Home Street Home Alone. I, I try to reserve ones for things like Lightyear and Dial of Destiny Mulan where it's- Mulan 2020. Yeah, things like that. But the, I don't know, it's like- Everything about this was shit. It wasn't funny. The- It wasn't emotionally moving. It was ridiculous. And even the traps weren't good. Like, the trap section lasted, like, less than ten minutes, I think? And each one was terrible. Some more like five minutes. This movie, Kate, literally, was there a single second, a single frame even, in this entire film, in which Kevin was in the house by himself? Was there, was there no. one second where he was home alone? Like, literally, was anyone ever home alone in this movie? The mother was home alone. Is that what the movie was called? Home alone? No, she wasn't. His buzz was there. Never mind. No one was ever in a house by themselves in this movie. Why the fuck is I this mean, a home alone the, movie? The, 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 the closest we ever got was Prescott being asleep. Him being with Prescott being asleep. That's... That's the closest we got. Nothing else. Like, this movie is called Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House. This movie should be called Home Alone 4, Taking Back My Copy of Home Alone 4. I would be very curious to see if this movie has any fans. Like, even just one. Even just- I mean, hey, it, ain't, it has a 2.6, so someone rated it a good score. Hey, uh, Avor, didn't you say this was gonna be funny? Where was the funny? <laughs> Are you sure you weren't laughing? I think Avert deserves a public beating for telling us that Home Alone 3 was the boring one. Yeah. My guy, it, come on, it was still boring. And also I purged most of this movie out of my memory other than Prescott's statue and the fact that, that there was like- Wow, you mean that it was more boring than 3? Wow, what a concept. <laughs> so like, even if you think 3 is boring- God, don't this... worry, I can't, wait, I can't wait to tell you that Home Alone 5 is the best out of the sequel trilogy and you want to actually just kill it. Even if you think that 3 is boring, for this was so much more mind numbing to watch. Nothing yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta admit, this movie it was literally an hour and twenty four minutes, and it was like twenty minutes shorter than the last one, and it felt twenty minutes longer. So, so here's the thing: the the third movie, as weird as it is to open with terrorists like missile cloaking micro trip as the as the hook for the movie, <laughs> it's still a hook. It's like, ah, a kid has found possession of an incredibly dangerous terrorist device that could cause very major damage elsewhere. That's a hook. That's like, oh, now I'm interested. Let's see what happens next. This movie, it took like an hour for things to go somewhere. And, and by the time they went somewhere, it was already over. And don't even, don't even, let's not even talk about the fact that they tried and failed miserably to recast the McAllister film. Like, why did they, why? Why did they even, it, well, they didn't need to do that. We need to, we need to uh, edit in a counter for how many times there was the fucking clock transition. So here, here's the thing. Star Wars also does that, like, to a T in their movies. They they have that, the clock wipe transition. At least then it's like, okay, older movie. It's not like every five seconds, Windows Movie Maker, well, guys. Well, here's, here's the thing of it. You say that, but even up until The Rise of Skywalker, which came out in 2019, oh. they, were, they were still doing that. I mean, oh. probably because of Legacy, I guess, but yeah. I, mean, I don't give a shit. How the, how the hell is there only one goof listed in here? There's a lot of goofs, never mind. <laughs> Holy shit, there's a lot of continuity goofs. I wonder why. Oh, are there? Really? I wonder why you... there are really? a lot of... I wonder why there are a lot of continuity goofs in this movie. Mm. And then we can't forget Prescott Ice Statue. Frozen Prescott. <laughs> the the like idea was funny, the execution that. was boring, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, how do you take something with such rich comedic potential and bungle it that massively? By not really showing it, probably because they don't have the budget to actually show it. Oh, finally, we found the plot hole section on IMDb, that's You funny. know what, l l l let me just open the movie again and try to see if 
I can actually see him. You're willingly going back into this again. <laughs> no, don't go back into the shit pit, Guganic. Uh, anyway, you're saying something of her? Oh, yeah, I was talking about the plot hole section of uh, for IMDb here. Are you gonna read it? <laughs> sure. With Kevin not being the right age for the time the film takes place, <laughs> neither are Buzz or Megan. In the original film and sequel, Buzz was at least six years older than Kevin was. Kevin being eight and Buzz being at the most 14. However, in this film, the actor who plays Buzz is only 14 in the new film. Same with Megan. While being a year younger than Buzz in the original, she is now 12 instead of 14. Great. Is that it? <laughs> There's a bunch more, but uh, to be okay. honest, a lot of these are actually pretty nitpicky. I'm pretty sure you could find... A couple more plot holes yeah. at least. <laughs> then again, I'm pretty sure not. no one really wants to be the one to add contri contributions to the fucking IMDb page for Home Alone 4. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to editing this. I don't want to look at this. Are thing. you looking forward to watching Home Alone 5 and 6? Oh, editing Home Alone 6 is going to be so much fun. Well, see, here's the thing. For Home Alone 5, I genuinely don't know what to expect. I know nothing about it going into it. It's the only one well, that... that's... Oh, that's gonna make it so much better. Because, like, I haven't seen Home Sweet Home Alone, but I know enough about it to be like, oh, why? Why is that? That's I, the last I one. Too. I'm one of the poorest. I'm one of the poorest souls who have seen. So they Home actually Home. show him inside it, but it looks so fucking fake. <laughs> like here, let he me is. send it to you. AI generated. Well, I mean, I assume it's like a clay thing or some shit. <laughs> That looks... It just looks like they threw a poncho over him. <laughs> <laughs> they probably did. He's, like, in, like, some plastic wrap. Yeah, it literally looks like foam. He's, like, a bubble... He's bubble man. The thing is, I, I don't believe that that is the correct size. But yeah, the, really, it's it's more that we don't really see him much like we see him like like two seconds like if we put every shot together even that that's generous alex c on imdb please 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 make home alone five does he know well that there are actually a five and six i i, I have great news for this person <laughs> i'm gonna I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make his day yeah uh there's a reason why i only watch this once as a kid. I probably vowed to myself that I would never ever watch it again, and now here we are in the well, future. Well, we've broken some vows just because of us. You're welcome for breaking those vows, by the way. Eh, it's all, it's all in the name of watching shit movies together. It all is, in the a, name uh, of watching the sequel trilogy of Home Alone. It's a bonding experience. Well, I think I've exhausted everything I have to say about Home Alone 4. Not funny, lame traps, just stupidity all around. We're Not funny. Did to laugh. Really weirdly shot and edited in a lot of instances, and their attempts to convince me that this is actually supposed to be somehow taking place between one and two, or taking place after two, but they forgot how old the characters were. Either way, it's just it. They didn't. They clearly, not a lot of effort or thought was put into this. And I'm sure, I'm sure some of it can be excused by the fact that it's a TV movie, but not all of it. Not all of it. Anyway, time to jump into another TV movie of the Home Alone. Yeah, if there's one thing they learned is that to stop in numbering these. Because at least if it, if it doesn't have a number, it's like, okay, it's like a spin-off thing with less budget. Yeah, home sweet, home sweet Home Alone, you know, that shit doesn't exist. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, Life, Life is Strange also kind of learned that lesson because they had Life is Strange 2, which was a mistake. And then Life is Str the third one, or I guess fourth one, because before True the story, colors, yeah. it was just called true colors so they also learned I, I i liked two it's just not with the characters from one which they should have renamed that game yeah, that that number can cre create a lot of, of you know extra expectations and also interest which is probably why they still named it four. yeah because the average the average person who doesn't like voraciously devour a lot of i i'm perpetually surprised by just people i know in the real world who don't keep up with announcements like if there's a new season of a show or something coming out i'll be like hey did you know are you guys excited for this and they'll be like wait what that's happening no way and for us it's just the most obvious thing because we're we're so ingratiated in this kind of in media culture so we we, we are very up to date with things that are releasing but the average person isn't so when the average person hears oh another home alone movie it's called home alone 4 or home alone 3 probably has the same characters and it's the same thing with life is strange it's just it's it's easier to uh, for them to do that because people will automatically assume it's gonna be a continuation of the first one because that's what numbers are there for. But <laughs> oh, by the way, I, I think we kind of glossed over the the grand plan here was to kidnap a prince. 
He never showed up. Uh, well, he yes, he did. He did briefly, but I don't blame yeah, him. Yeah, he, he has he has like ten seconds of screen time, and, like kind of in the background. They just needed a prince for some reason. If you wanted me to really care about that, you could have had him be a character that had more than ten seconds of screen time in a limo at the very end. Like, just have them steal random stuff. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> like, this is an expensive house. I, li- anyway. I literally didn't even see him. All right. Oh, also there was a divorce storyline. <laughs> Why? Whatever. Oh, yeah. I think I understand why Daniel Stern called this an insult and total garbage and stubbornly refused to be in it. it yeah, before the movie even came out, he, his garbage senses were tingling. I mean, I assume he took a look, a look at the script. The actors tend to do that. And yeah, if I looked at the script, I would also be like, what the fuck is this? I said, yeah, he's like, uh, hello, I, I asked for the script, not a wad of toilet paper. But yeah, are those it for our closing thoughts here? We're all in agreement. This is a one or two out of ten. Yep. I think that's, I don't, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to say and I'm coming up with nothing. So yeah, I believe, I believe that is. All I can say is that Gugonic for sure, Home Alone 5 is going to be really funny. Uh Uh-huh. We'll we'll see about that. Thank you all for watching. I actually don't remember how funny it's going to be. The Burt. What? A word. Say the thing. The comment? All right, let me try to think of one. Hold up. Trying to think of a good thing to comment. I don't know. I, well, there's not much to, in terms of thinking you can do with this movie. Thinking and Home Alone 4 don't belong in the same sentence. Open Sesame. There we go. Okay, OJ, OJ's been coming up with all of these lately. Dude, Open Sesame is actually perfect. Comment Open Sesame in the comments. Also, I might have missed it. Did Kevin say the term that you need to, to open to turn the bookcase around? Because if he did, then why didn't they just say what he said yes he did say it they just didn't the, the in-universe the in-universe <laughs> music was too loud man they, they the final shot of this movie was kevin looking into the goddamn camera and saying snowfall and then snow fucking fell out of the sky <laughs> that's also hilarious it was so kevin bad is a god trevor you don't need to you don't understand <laughs> he has control over the weather <laughs> where, where, where did the snow come from did, did they have a from ceiling the house, above them? <laughs> in between home alone one and two and two uh, kevin became a god the the actual explanation explanation is probably that there's just snow machines on top of the house for some reason, but I like the idea that he is actually just a god with <laughs> control over the weather. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, you can't do this, Kevin. Oh, yeah? Lightning strike. Besides, it was a payoff. Don't you see? Earlier, he's like, I want a snowy Christmas, and I didn't get it, and then he got it. Oh, yeah. The whole thing about him not wanting the brothers, like, they actually had... What, Nowhere? It was just a thing that they needed to kickstart the plot to get him to run away to the dad's house. Or the, the, the dad to Natalie's house. Great. Alright, let's actually end the video. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Let us know if you actually enjoy Home Alone 4. Or if you even knew that this was a thing All two today. people. Yeah, that's a good thing. We're probably gonna do a poll again. Another poll. Uh, next up is Home Alone The Holiday Heist. Whatever that means. They stole the holidays. The Grinch makes a cameo appearance. It, it has a 3.5 instead of a 2.6, so, you know. Maybe this time it will be a 2 instead of a 1. Yeah, don't worry. I, t- I told you guys it's better than the fourth movie. So that's actually it for this video. Yeah, no, we thank- don't want this to go any longer. Yeah, I don't, don't want to think about Home Alone 4 anymore, thanks. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time for whatever it is you decide to watch next. Goodbye. Goodbye.